Well, as Dr. George said, he is going to save the best until the last. He wraps up his series on the news tonight with a look behind the scenes in the sports and weather departments where most of us are afraid to even walk in the door oh, for fear well, of what I, might I, happen. Weather department, really weather sure. department, you're welcome yeah. anytime. You know <laughs> that. Sports, huh? But you know what? It's, it's Friday. It's the weekend. And since it is Friday, most people look forward to a weekend of sports and hopefully a weekend of great weather. So we decided this is the perfect time to show you my domain, the weather department. Ooh. And we'll sneak you into the Eyewitness News locker room, better known as sports. <laughs> The name of the game is sports, at least for Jim Hill, Rick Lozano, and Todd Donahoe. For Jim, football was a way of life for eight years as safety for the Green Bay Packers. Rick played basketball in college, but since coming to Eyewitness Sports, he's found other interests. Lee, give it your best shot, buddy. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> While Todd wrestled and played football in school, he now takes it to the hoop. <laughs> the sports department has cut out its own little niche. There are three producers who, along with the talent, write and edit all the sports. You know what cheerleaders looked like in 1957? And there are four desk assistants who spend their days watching game after game after game. What a life. Oh, no. That guy, he threw that ball right at the buzzer. But not all sports stories are on the court, field, water, or track. Have you met a good doctor? No, I haven't. Yeah, doctor. Thank you. Yours. Dear friend, good friend. Occasionally, they enjoy a quiet sit-down interview. Like this one Jim did with Kareem. Are we ready, sir? We're ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Before we start talking about basketball or anything, I'm, I'm interested in your, in your episode on 21 Jump Street. I have the best job in the world, and I work with the best people in the world. You and I both. You and I both. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you better believe it. Jim is right. We do have the best people here at Eyewitness News. And some of the finest are right here in the weather department. By late in the day, watch it. It'll move. There we go, rapidly on toward the desert areas. Each day, Dallas Rains, Johnny Mountain, Rick DeReyes, and I attempt to master our very sophisticated satellite computers so we can bring you the most accurate weather possible. George, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? It looks as though those clouds are coming down. There are already clouds. And our weather ready. department is so well staffed, we even have our own computer whiz, better known to you as reporter Fred Anderson. Each day, we all pull together satellite pictures forecast maps and graphics to help you see what the future holds weather-wise. That's where I find the weather every day. Under the table. The satellite maps come from a weather research firm. They send new information 24 hours a day. But even with all this high-tech wizardry, every day I make a stop at the National Weather Forecast Office. After I make my daily dash to the studio, I still like to make a last-minute check, the old-fashioned way, a phone call. It's 6 o'clock. What's the latest weather? Then it's showtime. Yay, good friend. Once in a while, we do live reports on the weather from the place it happens, outdoors. Sometime it's up, up, and away in our helicopter, Air 7. And I can tell you, it is really a thrill. I hope this week has been a thrill for you. Seeing what it takes to put the eyewitness news on the air. Paul, hope everybody enjoyed it as oh, much as we have. We, sure we did. did. And you look sure like you were having fun doing it too. Always. Yeah. Yes. Many years now. <laughs> Tell Mountain to quit stealing the popcorn and taking it into the weather office, <laughs> would you? That would be good. That would be nice. Be yeah. good. Uh, thank you, George. Thank, thank you. Week. Delightful. Mm -hmm.
-hmm. Good weekend. See you at 11 o'clock. You too. See All right. Then. News continues now at 6 with Harold and Tony. Thanks, Paul. The State Agriculture Department announces that the medfly war is far from over and malathion sprain will last indefinitely. And a leader of the Manson family makes a personal plea for freedom. Thank you. Thank Former hostage Frank Reed returns home to the United States. More violence breaks out on a high school campus in Los Angeles. And local Catholic leaders hope for a diplomatic breakthrough between Mexico and the Vatican. Next on Eyewitness News, number one in Southern California.